Interview 1. What is your name? My name is Carl. Where do you live? I live in Berlin. What language do you speak? I speak German. When did you come to the USA? Last Saturday. Interview 2. What is your name? My name is I. What is your address? My address is 180 St. David Road, Toronto. What is your phone number? My phone number is 416-556-0876. Where are you from? I am from Japan. Interview 3 What is your name? My name is Antonio. What is your address? My address is 32 Vine Avenue, Hamilton. What is your phone number? My phone number is 905-980-0596. Where are you from? I am from Mexico. At home. 1. Where is Jane? She is in the living room. What is she doing? She is playing the piano. Where is the car? It is in the garage. Where is the dog? The dog is in front of the door. What is the dog doing? The dog is eating. At home, two. Where are you? I am in the kitchen. What are you doing? I am cooking dinner. Where are Bill and Mary? They are in the living room. What are they doing? They are watching TV. Where is the cat? She is in the dining room. What is she doing? She is sleeping. My favorite photographs. One. Who is she? She is my sister. What's her name? Her name is Jennifer. Where is she in this photograph? She's in Toronto. What is that building behind her? She's standing in front of the CN Tower. Location 1. Where is the school? It's between the library and the park. Where is the post office? It's across from the movie theater. Where is the Royal Bank? It's next to the supermarket. Where is the gas station? It's around the corner from the church. Where is the barber shop? It's near the bus station. Location 2 Excuse me. Can you tell me the way to the nearest bank? Yes, it's on Geneva Street. As a matter of fact, I'm going that way myself. So if you come with me, I will show you. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Color 1 May I help you? Yes, please. I am looking for an umbrella. What's your favorite color? It's black. Sorry, we have no black umbrellas right now. Here is a nice umbrella. But this umbrella is yellow. That's okay. Yellow umbrellas are very popular this year. Color 2 Excuse me, is this your umbrella? No, it isn't. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. That umbrella is brown and my umbrella is yellow. No questions. Are you married? No, I'm not. I'm single. Tell me about your new car. Is it large? No, it's not. It is small. Tell me about the questions in your English book. Are they difficult? No, they're not. They are easy. Tell me about your new neighbors. Are they quiet? No, they aren't. They are noisy. Short answer.
Is Alice young or old? She is young. Is Bill tall or short? He is short. Is Albert's apartment big or little? It's small. Were the last examinations easy or difficult? They were difficult. Is Julie married or single? She is single. Applying for a job. Come in, come in. It's Miss Wallace, isn't it? Yes, that's right. How do you do? How do you do? Please take a seat. Thank you very much. Well, I've got your application form here. I just want to check the information. Is that all right? Yes, of course. Now you're twenty-eight, aren't you? Yes, I am. And you aren't married, are you? No, I'm not. Yet I'm engaged. Uh huh. You didn't go to university? No, I didn't. But I went to technical college, and I started work when I was twenty. I see. You can speak Spanish, can't you? Yes, I can. But I can write it better than I can speak it. Is there any other language you can speak? Yes, I can speak a little French. You've been to Argentina, haven't you? Yes, I have, and to France. So I see. But you haven't been to the Middle East, have you? No, I'm afraid I haven't. But I'd like to. Good, because there is a demand for multilingual people in this job. I think you will do just fine. Thank you so much. I won't disappoint you. Giving directions. Now let's see. Vine Street is that way. Yes, just turn left at this corner. To Bridge Street. Is that street Bridge Street? Yes, there is a sign. Can you see that? Oh, you're right. Well, I have to go to J Street. I think the next one is J Street. Oh, right. Let's turn left at the next corner. Diana, this street is College Street, not J Street. Oh, uh, go straight ahead one more block. Are you sure? It's already four twenty. I should have taken a cab. That's gratitude for you. General Hospital, Maternity Ward. Hello, you're Mr. Cox, aren't you? Have you been waiting long? Not really. Is there any news? Not yet. We'll tell you as soon as there is. Have you thought of any names for the baby? Oh yes. If it's a girl, we'll call her Angela. And if it's a boy, we'll call him Joseph. Nice names. What's the significance? They were my parents' names. On the phone, a less formal call. Good afternoon, Scott and Smith. May I help you? May I speak to Mr. Scott or Mr. Smith, please? I'm sorry, they aren't here right now. Who's calling, please? George Martin. Is there any message I can take, Mr. Martin? No, I'll call back later. Thank you for calling Scott and Smith. A cup of coffee. Can I get you something to drink? A cup of coffee, please. With milk and sugar? A little milk, but no sugar. I never drink coffee at night. Why not? It keeps me awake. What do you drink with supper? Tea. It helps me relax. I don't like tea. There are so many kinds of tea. Maybe you should shop around and try to find one you like because coffee is bad for you. That's a good idea. How about a drink? How about a drink tonight? I'd love to. Where can we meet? How about the relax bar? All right. What time? Is eight o'clock okay? Yes, that's fine. I will meet you there. I'm really looking forward to it. Me too. I have a sore throat. You sound terrible. I have a sore throat. You should rest your voice. I know it hurts when I talk. What are you taking for your throat? Hot tea and honey. That should help. Are you going to work today? No, I'm staying home. Good idea. I'll feel better tomorrow. I hope so. On sale. Do you like my new coat? It looks terrific. I'm glad you like it. How much was it? Eighty dollars. That's a good price. Yeah, it was on sale. Where did you get it? At Sears. I'd like to shop there too. 
They always have really good sales. Maybe you should go there today. They have a sale on shirts if you're interested. Good idea. I need some. Not a cloud in the sky. What a beautiful day! Yes, there's not a cloud in the sky. What's the temperature? It's seventy degrees. I love October. Me too. It's not too hot and not too cold. Fall is my favorite season. Mine too. The weather is almost perfect, and the leaves are very pretty when they change colors. Cold and windy. Is it cold out? Yes, it's cold and windy. I'm going to wear my heavy coat. Good idea. Where are you going? To the post office. Why? To mail this package. Would you buy some stamps for me? Sure. How many do you want? Ten. Here's the money for the stamps. Okay. I'll be back in twenty minutes, unless I get blown away. It's beginning to snow. Do you like snow? No, I hate it. Why? Snow is so pretty. Yes, but I don't like to drive in it. Well, it's beginning to snow. And I have to drive to work. How far is it to work? Six miles. Are we going to get much snow? About twelve inches, they say. Oh no! Driving will be dangerous. Please be careful. I will. By the way, can I borrow your car? A house at the shore. When is your vacation? It starts next week. Where are you going? We're renting a house on the shore. That's wonderful. Yes, we love the ocean. Do you swim a lot? Not very much. Then why are you going to the shore? Because we all bought new swimsuits. A soccer game. I'm going to play soccer. Who are you playing with? Some friends from work. Are you a good soccer player? Yes, but I'm not the best player on the team. What time does the game begin? Nine o'clock. Why don't you come with me? I can't today. I'm very busy. Okay. See you later. I hope your team wins. Not so young. My son is graduating from high school today, and my daughter is graduating next year. How old is she? She's sixteen. I remember when she was a baby. I know. We're getting old. Don't say that. Why not? It's true. No, it isn't. We were young when we got married. That's right. But we got married twenty-five years ago. Is she single? Today is my cousin's birthday. What's your cousin's name? Kathy. I'm going to her house after dinner. How old is she? She's twenty-four. Hmm. She's my age. Is she pretty? Yes, and she's very nice too. Is she single? No. She's married and has two children. Oh, that's too bad. Not for her. <laughs> to buy a birthday present. What are you getting Jim for his birthday? I don't know yet. You can always get him a shirt. But I got him one last year. Ah,、oh, that's right. Let me think. I want to get him something different. How about a briefcase? Good idea. His briefcase is getting old, and it's something he'll use every day. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Telephone. Hello. Hello, is Mary there? I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. Oh, is this six eight five five two nine zero? No, it's not. I'm sorry. That's okay. A light eater. Would you like anything else? You haven't eaten very much. No thanks. I'm already full. Oh come on, have some more. No, I really can't. I've never been much of an eater. Have some coffee then. That would be nice. How do you take it? With sugar, please. No cream. Here you are. Thank you.
A nice flat. One. This is a nice flat. Hmm. There's a living room. There's a kitchen, a bedroom, and a bathroom, and there's a bidet. What's a bidet? It's like a toilet, only better. I'll let you figure it out. Well, none of my friends have a bidet, and even if I don't know what it is, they will be very jealous when I tell them. A nice flat, two. Well, here's the kitchen. Hmm, it's very small. Yes, it isn't very large, but there's a cooker and a fridge. There are some cupboards under the sink. Are there any plates? Yes, there are. Good. Are there any chairs in here? No, there aren't, but there are some in the living room. Hmm, there aren't any glasses. Yes, there are. They're in the cupboard. And、uh, where's the toilet? Afraid of flying. Where is your meeting? In Dallas, Texas. How are you going? By plane. Do you like to fly? Sure. It's fast and comfortable. I'm afraid of flying. That's silly. Flying is very safe. Maybe, but I don't feel safe in a plane. I understand. A lot of people feel that way. A plane reservation. I'd like to reconfirm my plane reservation. What flight are you taking? Flight two o seven. And your name, please? Henry Chandler. Yes, sir. You're booked on flight two zero seven. Please check in at the airport an hour before flight time. Thank you. Getting together. Are you free Friday night? I might not be in town. I'm not sure yet. A friend suggested I go to Vancouver. Well, a few of us are getting together, and I thought you might want to come too. What are you thinking of doing? We're not sure yet. We might go to a bar, but we'll probably go to see AI. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Well, come then. Sure. If I'm in town, I'll call you and let you know. How's your new job going? Oh, Miss Wallace, long time no see. How are you? Good, thank you. How's your new job? I started working today. How does it seem so far? It's demanding, but I'm happy to be working. What's your boss like? He appears to be very thoughtful and kind, but they all do at first. I guess we will have to wait and see. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Take care. We eat a lot. Did you see my car keys? They're on top of the TV. You're right. Thanks. Where are you going? To the supermarket. Again? Yes. We eat a lot. Do you want me to go with you? Sure, if you can. Good. The packages will be heavy. There is a new health store right up the road. Maybe since you guys eat a lot, you should try and eat more healthily. Maybe you're right. We have all put on a little weight. I'll take you. Diana. Oh, George. Hi. How are you? Listen, I'm in a terrible hurry. The bank closes in twenty minutes. Is your bank near here? Yes, it's only four blocks away on Vine Street. Well, get in. I'll take you. Are you sure it's not out of your way? No, not at all. That is so nice of you, George. Thank you. You're welcome. We must be out of them. Hi. Sorry, I'm late. I missed the bus. Oh, that's okay. I had time to clean up before you came. You don't look very good. I must be getting a cold. I've been sneezing all day. <gasps> Bless you. Thank you. You must be getting a cold. Why don't you go lie down? I'll bring you some aspirin. I don't see any aspirin in the medicine cabinet. We must be out of them. I'll go to the drugstore. Is there anything else we need? Could you get some? <gasps> I don't know if they sell at you here, but I'll check. Doctor's appointments. When can I see Doctor No? He won't be free until tomorrow. Can I make an appointment? Sure. How about tomorrow at ten o'clock? Can you make it at nine? I'll check to see if he's available. I'm sorry, but he's tied up until ten o'clock. Well, can't you squeeze me in somehow? 
I'm afraid not. How about after lunch? Will one o'clock be all right? That's perfect. Thank you. Traffic rules two. Excuse me. May I see your license? I'm afraid I've left it at home. In that case, you'll have to take it to the police station within five days. But but why? You were speeding, ma'am. But I was only doing seventy-five. There's a seventy-kilometer-hour speed limit on this road, ma'am. Is there? I didn't see a sign. Well, ma'am, we've been following you. So you were doing seventy-five too? No, ma'am. We were doing ninety kilometers an hour, and we couldn't catch you. Eating out. Waiter, could we have the bill, please? Can I put it all on one bill? No, we'd prefer separate checks. Your bill's eighteen dollars. That seems expensive. Would you check it again, please? Sorry, ma'am. This is your friend's bill. Here is yours. It's twenty-four dollars and sixteen cents. To buy a bus ticket. Excuse me. Yes. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like some information about buses, please. Where to? To Toronto. When? This Saturday. Morning or afternoon? In the afternoon, about three o'clock. There's one at three twenty. Thank you. That sounds perfect. I'll take it. On the phone. Good morning, Scott and Smith Law Office. May I help you? Yes, may I speak to David Waller, please? I'm sorry, he isn't here yet. May I take a message? Yes, could you ask him to call Marjorie Vale? How do you spell your last name? V A L E. What's your phone number? Does Mr. Waller have it? Uh, no, he doesn't. It's six eight zero five two nine zero. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? Six eight zero five two nine zero. I'll give him the message. Thank you. You're welcome. Operating room. Mrs. Martin, I'm Doctor Thomas. Oh, Doctor, how is he? Well, I'm afraid we'll have to operate. Oh no, he's always been afraid of operations. Don't worry. If we operate now, he'll be all right. Oh, Doctor, do you really have to? I'm afraid so. He's lost a lot of blood. If we don't operate, he'll die. Oh, please do whatever you have to. A car loan. I want to go to the bank this afternoon. I'll drive you there. Thanks. I'm going to apply for a loan. Why do you need a loan? I have to buy a new car. What's wrong with your car? It won't start, and it's ten years old. How much will a new car cost? About fifteen thousand dollars. Wow, that's a lot of money. I know. That's why I need a loan. A cashier. What kind of work do you do? I'm a cashier at a supermarket. Do you like your job? No, it's not very interesting. And you don't make much money. That's right. I make very little. I think you should look for another job. I am, but it's not easy to find one. Keep looking. You'll get one. Thanks. I hope you're right. Settling down. How are you settling in? Oh, we're still in a bit of a mess, but Lisa seems to like it here. That's good. Is there a garden for her to play in? Yes, it's not very big, but we've got a small swimming pool. Have you found a school for Jerry? Yes, there's one near here. It only takes five minutes by car. That's good. So you like it there, do you, Neil? Yes, this is a very good place for my children. Will you get some bread for me? Is there a bakery near here? Yes, you can get there in five minutes. That's good. I don't have much time. Why are you going to the bakery? To buy a birthday cake. Whose birthday is it? My daughter's. She's ten. That's nice. Will you get some bread for me? Sure. Do you want anything else? No, thanks. I'll pay you when you get back. Buying a present in a jeweler's shop. 
I'm trying to find a wedding anniversary present for my wife. Yes, sir. What exactly are you looking for? I'm not sure, really. Perhaps you can help me. Right. I'll show you some pendants. No, I bought a pendant for her birthday. Maybe a necklace then. These necklaces are made of gold. Yes, I like this one. What's the stone? It's a ruby, sir, and it's only twelve hundred dollars. Uh, well, perhaps you could show me some bracelets then. Buying a present in a toy shop. Good morning. Perhaps you can advise me. Yes, ma'am. I'm looking for a toy for my niece. Oh yes.、Uh, how old is she? She'll be seven years old on Sunday. Skateboards are still very popular.、Mm, I don't want her to hurt herself. What about a Barbie doll set? I don't think so. She has many Barbie dolls. Have you got anything educational? You see, she's a very intelligent girl. I've got the perfect thing: a do-it-yourself kit. Where you can build your own Barbie doll who rides a skateboard. Making a reservation. Can I get some tickets for plays? Yes. Is there a specific play that you want to see? What plays are on tonight? Cats, but it's sold out. Are there any seats left for tomorrow night? Yes. How many tickets do you want? Two, please. Where would you like to sit? I'm not sure. Well, here's a seating plan of the concert hall. How much、uh, is it in the middle section? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? That's a little too expensive for us. How much is it in the back? Thirty-five dollars. That's fine. What time does the play start? At seven o'clock. What time will the play be over? At nine thirty. Ready to go. Are you ready? Grace is still in her room. She needs to rush. We don't have enough time. What time does the movie begin? It starts at seven thirty. What's the time now? About seven ten. There's no hurry. It only takes ten minutes by car to get there. I know, but there aren't enough parking spaces around the theater. Well, I'd better tell Grace to hurry up. She can take hours to get ready. An interesting movie. I thought that movie was terrific, didn't you? I don't know. It didn't seem to have any meaning. Come on! It seems that you expect intellectual stimulation from every movie. I just think that a good movie should have a central theme, at least. Yes, but it doesn't hurt you to watch a funny movie once in a while. Relax and enjoy it. You're right. I'm too serious sometimes. In the bus. I see you're reading Harry Potter. How do you like it? I can't put it down. Have you read it? Yes. In fact, I just finished it. The ending's great. Don't tell me. I have only fifty pages to go. Okay, I won't tell you who dies. Don't tell me anything. Okay, but I'm biting my tongue. Good. Bite hard. Such a shame, though. What is? That Harry dies. Oh. A new job. Mr. Adams, have you seen this ad in the recruit news? Yes, I saw it. But I'm not interested in finding a new job. I've been here since I graduated from my university. I like working here. Really? I've only been here one year, and I'm already tired of doing the same thing every day. I'm afraid of getting really bored. Oh, come on! It's not that bad. Wherever you work, you have to do the same thing every day to a certain degree. Well, what's more, I've been working about ten hours a day since last month. But you've been getting paid more money for it, haven't you? Yes, but I'm not interested in making more money. I'm going to apply for another job. What kind of job? A secretarial job. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. A date, two. Hello, Sandy. Is that you? Yes. Uh huh. Who's this? It's Gil. Gil. Gil who? What do you mean, Gil? Who? Gil Dixon, of course. Oh, Gil. I'm sorry. Yes, we had a date last night. Where were you? I waited for one hour. Oh, I'm sorry, Gil. I couldn't come. Couldn't come? Why not? Well, I had to pack my stuff for my trip. 
Why didn't you call me? I wanted to call you, but um, I couldn't remember your phone number. And now I'm going to forget yours. Smoking. Do you smoke? I've never known that. When did you start smoking? I started smoking when I was eighteen. So how long have you been a smoker? I've smoked for twenty years. How many cigarettes do you smoke a day? I smoke two packs of cigarettes a day. Have you ever tried to quit? Yes, I have quit twice. Once when I was expecting my baby, Paul, and the other time when I had a bad sore throat. But I had a hard time. If you knew what it was doing to your lungs, you would think twice about it. A death. Did you hear about the Smith family? No. What happened? Mrs. Smith passed away this morning. That's a shame. What from? Heart attack, I think. That's a terrible thing. Yes, Mrs. Smith went into hospital last night by ambulance and died this morning. Had she been suffering from heart disease? Yeah, Mrs. Smith had it for five years before she died. Did they try surgery? She had two operations, but they weren't effective. I feel sorry for Mr. Smith. A birth. Have you heard about the good news in the Wallace family? No, I've been out of town. Mrs. Wallace went into the hospital last night and gave birth to a baby girl seven hours later. That's very good. But they already have a little girl, don't they? No, they have a five-year-old boy. So they wanted a girl this time, right? Yes, they wanted a girl for a long time. Was it natural childbirth? No, she had to have a cesarean. A coincidence. Teresa, what a surprise! What are you doing here? Timothy, I don't believe it. I'm going to see my daughter. She will marry this weekend. How about you? I'm going to visit my parents. When is your daughter's wedding? Sunday. Wow! This Sunday is the 45th wedding anniversary of their wedding too. This is a surprise. Anyway, where is your train leaving from? My train leaves from platform three over there. How long will you? Now leaving from platform three. Train from Vancouver. That's my train. I have to run. Sorry, we didn't get more time to talk. That's okay. I'll see you when you get back. Have a good time and say congratulations to your parents. How have you been, Raymond? Oh, hi, Grace. How have you been? Good. I hear you've been to Toronto for a few days. Yes, I just got back yesterday. Did you have a nice visit? Really nice. It was very good going around downtown and shopping, and I saw the Toronto Blue Jays game at Sky Dome. It seems that Toronto is a very exciting city. My brother Stanley was there too. You've met Stanley, haven't you? Sure. I met him when he was here in Hamilton last year. What's he doing these days? Still teaching baseball? Yes. As a matter of fact, he just began to teach elementary school. Great. How's everything with his kids? Have you met my nieces? Yes. They visited you once in the summer, didn't they? Right. They're both fine. I haven't seen them in a long time. They must be really big. Well, they will come over this Christmas. Let's have a great Christmas party together. That's a good idea. Telephone call two. Hello, Jack. This is Dave. I want to return the book I borrowed from you last night. Will you be home at about six o'clock? Yes, I will. I'll be cooking dinner. Oh well, then I won't come over at six. Why not? I don't want to disturb you. Don't worry. You won't disturb me. Okay. I'll see you at six. What's a grant? My daughter is going to college. That's great, but it must be expensive. Yes, but she has a grant. A grant? What's a grant? The government is giving her money to pay for her education. That's right. Does it pay for everything? No, she has a loan too. What's the difference between a loan and a grant? You have to pay back a loan. A grant is a gift. I'm busy on Friday. Would you like to go to a pop concert? Well, I'd like to, but when is it? On Friday evening. What a pity! I'm busy on Friday. Maybe you could change your plans. It's going to be a really great concert. Maybe I will. I wouldn't want to miss it. 
Great. I'll see you Friday. Bless you. Achoo! God bless you. Thank you. You have a cold? Yes, that's why I'm sneezing so much. I hope you feel better soon. I get a bad cold every winter. Are you taking anything for your cold? I'm taking contact. Does it help? Yes, but it makes me sleepy. You'd better not drive then. I don't feel well. What are you looking for? My jacket. I'm going to the doctor. Why? What's the problem? I'm not sure, but I don't feel well. Do you have a fever? No, but I have a pain in my chest. What time is your appointment? 11.30. I'm going now. Bye. Goodbye. I hope it's nothing serious. Thanks. See ya. Can you help me? Can you help me, officer? I'll try. What's the problem? I can't get into my car. Where are your keys? They're in the car. Don't worry. I can open it. How can you do that? With a coat hanger. It's easy. Where can we get a coat hanger? There's one in the police car. Wait here. Thanks a lot. You're very kind. Taking a cab. Hello. Hello. Where do you want to go? 70 Maple Street, please. 70 Mibble Street? No, Maple Street. Maple Street. Let's see. Is that near St. David Street? I don't know. I've only been here one week. Oh, where are you from? Toronto. I hate to get up. I hate to get up in the morning. Me too. What time do you get up? At 6 o'clock. Why do you get up so early? I have to be at work by 7. I don't get up until 8. You're lucky. What do you do? I own a bookstore. What time does your store open? At 8.30. A hot day. This heat is killing me. Me too. It must be 95 degrees. I would like a cold drink. I'll get you one. Thanks. Mmm, this tastes good. It does. Jeez, this hot weather makes me lazy. Me too. Get me another drink? I guess if you're lazy, no one else is allowed to be. <laughs> Thanks for understanding. Phone out of order, one. Hey, hey. What's wrong? There's something wrong with the phone. I'm getting a strange noise. Are you? I can hear you clearly. Hello? Hello? This pay phone might be out of order. I'll call you again with another phone. Hello? How about now? Is there still a strange noise? Yes. Perhaps my phone is out of order. You should get in touch with the phone company. Phone out of order, two. Hey. What's the matter with the phone? Here, listen to this peculiar noise. It doesn't sound like a dial tone. It must be out of order. We'd better notify the phone company. How do we do that? We can't use the phone. Let's go next door and use our neighbor's phone. He's always complaining about people. I don't want to ask any favors of him. How about across the street? I forgot about Mrs. Riley. I'm sure she'd let us use her phone. Getting a visa. Does it take long to get a visa? It depends on the season. Anywhere from one month to two months. What do I need to do? Fill out an application form and wait. Will there be a long waiting period? Not if you don't run into any government delays. Employing a new member. Well, this woman may be suitable for the job. But is she energetic enough? Yes, she certainly seems to have lots of energy. Hmm. She's got to be ambitious, too. Is she? Yes, she has plenty of ambition. And we really need a flexible sort of person. Do you think she is? Hmm. She seems to be determined enough, but she's a little tough. Well, I guess we'll give her a try and see how she works out. A date. What are you so happy about? You're grinning from ear to ear. Sandy and I are going to go out this weekend. Oh, yeah? That's fast work. That's great. 
Which night are you going to see her? Friday or Saturday? On Friday. She isn't going to be in town on Saturday and Sunday. She's going to visit a friend in Quebec. What are you going to do on Friday? I don't know yet. Do you have any ideas? How about taking her to a Chinese restaurant? I've heard that she likes Chinese food. That's a great idea. What are you going to wear on your date? I'm going to wear my new suit. That's too formal. Wear your jeans and a t-shirt. How about your sports jacket? Are you going to wear it on Friday night? No, I am not. Go ahead and wear it. What did you do yesterday? Hi, how are you? You look tired. Did you sleep okay last night? No, I didn't. Why? What did you do yesterday? I went to a nightclub last night and danced all night. Oh, yeah? Did you have a good time? I had a wonderful time, but I'm beat today. What time did you leave the nightclub? I left at about 3 a.m. I'm not surprised that you're tired. Which nightclub did you go to? Fantastic. It's on Ontario Street. It's really nice. Traveling by air. Do I check in here for Air Canada to Mexico? Do you already have your ticket? Yes. Here you are. Thank you. Can you put your luggage up here, please? Sure. I have three suitcases. We allow only two pieces. You'll have to pay an extra charge. Oh. Can I carry this one with me? No, I'm sorry. It won't fit under your seat. That's $45. Here you are. Thank you. You can choose your seat. A window seat or aisle seat? I'd like a window seat, please. Fine. Seat 15A. Here's your ticket and your boarding pass. Enjoy your flight. At the Customs. Good morning. Can I see your passport? Certainly. Here it is. Yes, that's all right. Have you got anything to declare? Yes, I have. I've got some whiskey and some cigarettes. How much whiskey have you got? A liter. That's all right. And how many cigarettes have you got? Two hundred. Fine. What about perfume? Uh, no, I haven't. Good. Open your case, please. Pardon? Open your case, please. Open it now. Oh, dear. Look at this. You've got three bottles of whiskey, 400 cigarettes, and a lot of perfume. Does that mean I can't go? A new baby. Well, hello, Mr. Wallace. You seem unusually happy today. I just became a father. Congratulations. A boy or a girl? You never saw such a cute girl. Nine pounds, three ounces, and as cute as a button. Doesn't this call for cigars? Oh, yes. I forgot about the cigars. Here, have one. Thank you. How's your wife? She's just fine. Is English difficult? Where are you going? To Canada. Why are you going there? I'm going to learn English. There's a school there that has an excellent program. Is learning English going to be difficult? Yes, I have to study and practice a lot. Where is your school? It's in a town called St. Catharines in Ontario. I'm jealous. I'll bet you're excited. Yes, but I'm also really nervous. Washing his car. Where's Kevin? He's in front of the house. What is he doing? Washing his car. Not again. Yes, he takes good care of his car. But he never cleans his room. I know, it's always dirty. And nothing is in order. You're right, his room is a mess. Maybe he should move into the car. At the restaurant. This is a big menu. Yeah, what are you getting? Chicken, peas, and baked potatoes. I don't know what to get. They have very good turkey. I had turkey yesterday. How about steak? Perfect. I'll get steak and mashed potatoes. What vegetable are you getting? I'm not getting any. I don't like vegetables. When's the baby due? I have some good news. What is it? Lisa is going to have a baby. That's great. I'm so happy for her. Me too. Do they want a boy or a girl? A girl. When's the baby due? In the beginning of September. I'm going to phone Lisa tonight. That's nice. Say hello for me. Bus stop. Jean, 
Barbara, do you work around here? Yes, I work in that building across the street. Really? What do you do? I work in a law office. I'm a secretary. Oh, that's interesting. What about you? What do you do? I work at Dura Restaurant. Oh, are you a cook? No, I'm a waitress. That's a really hard job. I don't envy you. Me neither. In the bus. Do you live alone, Jean? No, I don't. I live with my family. How about you? I'm married now. I got married last year. Really? Congratulations. Who did you marry? His name's Jeff Hunt. He lives in my building. Oh, what does he do? He's a doctor. How wonderful. I'm very happy for you. Gardening. Your garden is really lovely. Thank you. I enjoy working in the garden. Do you do everything yourself? I trim the bushes and weed the flower beds myself. Who cuts the grass? Oh, it's so big that I hire one of the boys in the neighborhood to do it for me. Well, I must say he does a good job. Yes, his work is more than satisfactory. A lazy boy. I'm very angry with my son Harry. Why? What's the problem? He's not doing well in school. That's a surprise. Harry's a smart boy. Yes, but he never studies. Did you talk to his teachers? Yes, I did. What did they say? He's a nice boy, but he's very lazy. Maybe they're right. I'm afraid so. Have you thought about getting him a tutor? Maybe that's a good idea. I really want him to excel. Let's go look in the phone book now, then. Can I drive there? What time is it? It's three o'clock. Oh no, I'm late. Where are you going? To the dentist. Can I drive you there? Sure, that will help. Do you have a toothache? Yes, and it's very bad. I'm sorry to hear that. I've had it for weeks, and this is the first time that I could get in. My dentist is always so busy. I guess that's a good thing. It means a lot of people like him. A new dress. Who is it? It's me, dear. Don't you have your key? No, let me in. Let's her in. What's in that box? What did you get? A new dress, honey. But you have a closet full of dresses. I know, but I need a new one. What's wrong with all the other dresses? They're not this one. A picnic. Let's go for a picnic. That's a great idea. Where shall we go? Let's go to the park. How far is it? About a mile. Is it a nice place? Sure. It has picnic tables and a beautiful lake. Good. I'll make some sandwiches. I'll bring soda and cookies. The kids will love it. I'm going skiing. We've got ten inches of snow. Wow, that's terrific. What's so terrific about it? I'm going skiing. Skiing? Are you serious? Yes, it's a lot of fun. Maybe, but it's also dangerous. You need to live on the edge. And you need to make sure you don't fall off of it. Traffic rules. Sarah, you can't park here. It's a bus stop. Oh, we'll be back in a few minutes. It's okay. Oh no, it isn't. You'll get a parking ticket if you leave it here. No, I won't. It's half past five. All the traffic wardens have gone home. Sarah. Yes. Is this your car, ma'am? Housework. Whew, I'm really tired, and now I have to go home and cook. Do you make dinner every night? Yes, I usually make dinner, and my husband washes the dishes. I live alone, so I do everything. Sometimes I eat out, though. There are some good restaurants in my neighborhood. Where do you live? Near the Penn Center. Oh, that's good. There aren't any good restaurants near my house. Does your husband help you do housework much? Um, yes. He sets the table almost every night, and he makes our bed every morning. But I usually make all the meals. How about cleaning? We clean the house together every weekend. I vacuum the rooms, and he usually sweeps the floor of the kitchen, and he does yard work. Your husband helps you so much. Does he help do the laundry too? Well, he's never helped me do the laundry. Oral exams. Hey, Cindy, have you finished the exam? Yes, I have. Phew. Was it hard? Well, yes, it was hard. Pretty hard. Did you pass? I don't know. Mrs. Lester didn't tell me. 
What questions did she ask? First, she asked me what my name was. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Yes, except I couldn't remember. Then she asked me where I came from and how long it took to get here from my country. And what else did she ask? She asked how long I'd been studying English here in Canada, and she asked how I would use English in the future. Yes, yes, go on. Then she asked me to explain the difference between my country and Canada. Anything else? I'm trying to remember. Oh, yes, she asked if I spoke any other language. Is that all? Oh, there were a lot of other questions. She asked me what my hobbies were, where I visited in Canada, then I was asked to read a passage. What did she say at the end? Hmm, let's see. Oh, yes, she asked me to tell you to go in right away. Would you call me? Well, see you tomorrow. I'd better go too. Oh, would you do me a favor? Sure. Would you call me tomorrow at six o'clock in the morning? Tomorrow's my daughter's birthday. I want to get her a new robe, and I have to pick up the dry cleaning and pick up the cake from the bakery. Anyway, I have lots of things to do, but I'm not sure I can get up early. Do you need a hand? Oh, can you? That would be great. Can you go to the mall and buy her a new robe, pick up the dry cleaning, and get the cake from the bakery? And what will you be doing? Sleeping in, of course. Can I let you know? Are you going out with Leonard tonight? Uh huh. He's supposed to pick me up at 6 30. What time is it now? Quarter to six. You'd better get going. You're kidding. I haven't even taken a shower. Where are you going? We haven't made up our minds yet. Maybe to a movie, maybe to a party. Go and see Forrest Gump. It's supposed to be interesting. Oh, maybe we will. I've heard The Sixth Sense is good too. Well, personally, I prefer Forrest Gump. I really should be going. Do you want to go shopping tomorrow? I'd like to go, but it depends. I might have to go to the store tomorrow and do some work. Can I let you know first thing in the morning? Okay, that would be all right. Ring, ring. Oh, there's the phone. It must be Leonard. Well, I'll be going. Call me tomorrow. I will. Have a good evening. You too.